Hey friend, I wanted to show you something new that I just ran across again, uh, and it's called Book Snaps. And it's essentially just taking regular books, whether it's a, an adult book or a children's book, um, and getting excited about communicating what the book is about, or quoting a part of the book, whether it's in this uh, professional reading, or maybe getting excited about what my favorite part of the book was in the children's book as a student, uh, how I would end it, how I would change it, um, some conflict or resolution that happened, uh, or just be excited about reading and wanting to share with other students. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a book snap. And what's nice about this is it takes a vis it allows us to visually communicate our excitement or a, a component of a book that we really want to emphasize, right? Uh, and so I'm going to walk you through this process uh, using Google Drive and a Google Slide Show. Okay, stay with me. Okay, so to begin this process of creating a book snap, we're gonna use Google Drive. You should be able to see my screen at this time. In our Google Drive, we're gonna click on New, and we're going to click on Google Slides. We're gonna start a new Google Slide. Now, the nice thing about this is you can do this at any level, K through 12 or pre-K through 12, sure, start through 12, right? Uh, so we're gonna title this as a book snap. And currently, uh, for our K2 friends, they don't have, students do not have uh, Google accounts. So what I would recommend from here, just to get you started, is to click the share, click advanced, and change the privacy from just you to anyone with the link can edit. Now this allows uh, students within the K2 area of study uh, to access this document and they can edit it. Um, so just be aware of that. Okay, moving forward. So a book snap is ultimately um, a picture of a book and we're gonna highlight and edit digitally to emphasize what we're trying to talk about. So let me, let me show you an example. Okay, change the background or the presentation to a blank slide. So to get started, we can either go to insert images or we can go to the image icon we're gonna go down to camera. We're gonna go do all this straight into Google. Okay, so I'm going to highlight a professional reading to get started. So what I do is I take my camera, I look at it, and I smile, and then I put my book up there, and I find the section of my book that I really wanna emphasize, okay? And so I wanna emphasize this section right here. Once I'm ready, I click the camera icon uh, to take the picture. And then you see it pop up on the right side here. I click insert. Boom, that picture is automatically inserted into my Google slide. Now from here, I can increase the size and center. Now the nice thing about using Google slides and the camera, if I don't like it, I delete it and I start over, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do this time. I'm gonna start over because it wasn't as clear as I would like it to be. Now here's where you as a teacher can get some giggles and watching kids do this independently or watching adults. Another option is to have partners. Okay, and I highly encourage partner working. Uh, so that way one partner holds the book and the other one clicks the button. And now I'm going to click insert. This looks like a little bit better uh, image. It's not as grainy. Okay. It's still kind of grainy, but we'll work through it. All right. Now, if this program does not work, I'll show you another one uh, to take pictures at least and to add it in. But this works great for Chromebooks and laptops alone uh, together. So ultimately, what I'm really wanting to focus on is this word edu pressure. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to highlight some things. So I'm going to use my shape tools and I'm going to add in a box. And from here, I can, I can manipulate that box, right? Now it's, it's a shape, it's got a solid fill. I wanna take that solid fill out. I'm gonna to go to my fill color and make it transparent. And then I'm gonna to go to my line color and change the color of the line. I want it to really pop, but it's not popping enough. So I'm gonna change the line weight, right? So now when I see that, oh, it's really drawing my eyes to edge of pressure. 
okay? Um, from here, I'm gonna put in a custom statement. And this is the part where it really brings in the student's voice. So I'm gonna do another shape box, but I'm not gonna take out the fill color. I'm gonna just double click and use the editing option so I can type in it, okay? So now I have my, my statement. I can do some basic editing that is standard in all of our programs and that we're used to. Now, I do wanna emphasize this box by changing the color and I'm gonna change the color of the font. Oops. And these are all skills that we, we, computer literacy skills that we would teach our students. We just can do it in a fun, different manner. It doesn't have to be in a Word document. Okay. And so I have my, my custom statement, my unique statement that I created. I have my highlighted area focusing on a certain section of that book. And now I, what I can do here now is also add in, I'm searching the web for emojis. Okay, so I'm gonna select this one here and just insert it. Let that image drop in. Now, all of our images, what's nice about it, you know, we can just resize it. So we're gonna drop it in and we're gonna resize it. And this kind of adds to the, the conversation, right? And so this allows me to customize my conversation here. Uh, I can add arrows if I like arrows. And again, it's all about customizing and the weight. Okay, so this is a fun way. And what you have here is called a book snap. So really great way to make learning or reading fun. So that was with an adult learning book. Uh, let me show you one with a children's book. And so I'm gonna create a new slide, make it blank. Now what I would do for my, as a suggestion for my kids would be to create a, a slide deck, put their name on the top of the title of each slide, and that's the slide that they work on. And so Isaac would be on this slide, uh, Wendy would be on the next slide, so on. I'm gonna to go to images, camera. Okay, so again, this is a book snap. I'm just taking a snapshot of the book. Uh, we're gonna highlight it, we're gonna emphasize it. For student connection here, you could ask guiding questions such as, what's your favorite part of the book? Take a snap book snap of your favorite part of the book. Um, what, um, what's the climax of a story? Have them take the, a snapshot of the, the climax or the conflict or the resolution. Um, you know, talk about uh, the, the comprehension. What did I learn from this book? How could I change the ending to this book? Things along those lines. So this is, these are all great ideas for creating book snaps and continuing the learning through a visual process uh, to, to A, capture student voice and B, get them excited about reading and um, digital learning, using digital tools to support the learning process. Now, I did say I was gonna show you one other program to help capture pictures. Uh, this Google option works great for Chromebooks. Uh, if you want, on a regular laptop, you can come down to the magnifying glass, type in camera, let it pop up, boom. And the same program, same process here, I've got my book. It does take a little bit better quality image. Okay. And so my picture does show up here. The last picture taken does show up in the bottom right corner. If I like it, great, I can move forward. I'll close out my camera and I'll duplicate and start fresh. Okay, so from here, the, di the difference is I would go to images and upload from computer, grab that last picture I took, 
and add it in. Same process moving forward as far as adding uh, shapes and arrows and text and emojis, uh, images, search, image searches from the web. Hope you're excited about it as much as I am. Uh, please give it a try. Post it on your school's, social, uh, your school's Facebook page if you have one. Uh, if you don't have one, send it to Dode Americas and uh, we can get that posted with you. And just to continue the excitement of learning and book snaps and, and reading in general. All right. Have a great day.